Okay, so this is the Volvo. Oh, that's my newer Volvo. Anyway, this is the Volvo XC90 uh, pulse width modulated fan. So basically, just have a battery, ground, 12 volts. Got my Arduino hooked up here with a little little black wire, a little red wire coming in to power it. The white wire is just an extra ground I was used for testing. This is pin nine coming out of here, going up into the purple wire, and we reboot this. So it starts out off, and it's on very dim. Goes through a couple self test things, and when I touch A0, which is the analog input zero, the fan will start spinning, and to change the voltage on A0, it'll increase or decrease speed. There's a little bit of a delay there. So there's low. You see the white LED is kind of kind of dim. Mess with it some more. See if we can get some different voltages. There we go. Pulling enough air to turn the fan on on the back side of that. Uh, so this is just kind of floating around at different voltages. So let's see if I can get it go a little bit faster. Like I said, that's just kind of a the voltage is just kind of floating around. If I'd run it all the way up to five volts, it would go to maximum speed. maximum speed and the voltage is going to drop back down the voltage is going to drop back down toward closer to zero on the analog input it'll just float along but it gives you an idea of how easy it is to make an Arduino work on that um, so my next project is to add a display to my Arduino and it tells me the speed or the pulse width of what's coming out of the Arduino based on the temperature. So I'll probably use something like this, where I've got a Max 6675 with a K-type thermocouple going into an Arduino, temperature, minimum, maximum. But then I'll just change the display a little bit and make it go to whatever the pulse width is. So that's the temperature in my garage right now. I'll restart that reboot it rather and then it will show the minimum maximum 79.3 so and this is still just kind of hanging out floating around <laughs> 